Good morning, my little creepers. How are you guys doing today? I hope you had an awesome weekend. Uh, the Kaisers did pretty good. We did a little bit, well, Mr. Kaiser did a lot of yard work and a little bit of housework, and we're finally getting some yard work done, but the rattlesnakes are out in Whitman, so we gotta be careful of that. All right, so today, on our video, these students have beat level uh, have beat all of their multiplication facts. Uh, Kita, Cece, Xander, Keegan, Mark, uh, Parker, sorry, Nathan, Kaden, Joshua S, Rylan, and Michael. If I've forgotten anyone, please let me know. Um, our announcements for today are keep your email at open as always. Nine o'clock we have community uh, circle, so please join us. It's a fun time, especially as we get close to the end of the year. I would like to do a few things through community circle for us of the end of year activities that we normally do. I will be on video all day long. I don't think I have any meetings today, which will be Monday. So. Um, then our assignments today are reading. On um, reading, we're going to continue with Mount Everest. There's a video about Eric. He, I can't even pronounce his last name, so I just call him Eric W. He is a blind man that covered, that actually climbed Mount Everest. Pretty cool story. Uh, you're going to watch the video. There is the story, every uh, Becoming Anything He Wants to Be, which is about him. That's our story from our book at school. And we have a link on there for you to listen to. And then the only assignment you have for reading is to do a timed reading. Just like when we practice our Dibbles, uh, our Dibbles, our Dibbles test, when we uh, time you for a minute and see how far you can read and how many mistakes you make. So you're just gonna do that today. Make sure you're keeping your fluency up. There's a passage in there for you to read. In math, this is where we're gonna get started on that zoo project here pretty quick. You are going to review perimeter. Remember perimeter is the outside of a shape. So if you're going to put a, a fence around a yard, that is the perimeter. You're going to remember, we're going to review how to solve perimeter and do a few problems on that. Then you're working on IXL on skill F, unless you beat it. If you beat it, you're done with that. Then you're going to choose another skill to work on. Don't forget to either print your zoo, uh, your zoo packets, which are for the project we're going to be working on for the rest of the year in math, or pick one up at school. If you can't do either or your parents can't, then you need to let me know because I'll, I'll take care of something. We'll figure it out, okay? Uh, writing, you're doing another current event. Remember, it's a full paragraph. You're telling me a summary of what you read or about what you heard. You can watch a video. Scholastic is a great place to find current events that are happening in America right now. And then you're going to write your paragraph. Make sure you tell me what the name of the article or video is and where you found that. And then in social studies, ooh, we get to start a cool part of history that I love. We're gonna do World War I. You're gonna watch a brain pop on World War I and then you're gonna answer some questions or read an article about Arizona. I believe it's about Arizona during World War I, um, kind of our contributions and what we did as a state during World War I. Um, and then there's no science this week, so you don't have to worry about this. And I'll tell you ahead of time, there's no writing on Friday and there's no social studies on Friday. So if you get, if one of the assignments takes you too long, then just remember Friday, you're gonna have less work. You can catch up on Friday if you need to. Remember, I'm still putting in grades and emailing you as I get those. The joke today is what building in the U.S. has the most stories? Remember, stories means the floors. So what building in the U.S. has the most stories? You ready? The library, because it has all the stories. Duh. All right, creepers, I hope you have an awesome day. Can't wait to see you at 9 o'clock, and I hope you love this zoo project. We tried really hard to make it easy so we could do it online. You guys, have a good day, and I'll talk to you later. Bye-bye.